Um, good afternoon, everybody. Thierry, so I'm working for the Luxembourg Institute of Science and Technology, and I would like to take those five minutes to show you a quick demo of what we are currently trying to do, at least uh, developing our smart contract analyzer. So the goal here is to uh, detect fraudulent contracts. So uh, here we talk about uh, blockchain technologies, of course. So when you buy, for example, on Ethereum something which is not the built-in ETH cryptocurrency, you buy a token. B this token is managed actually by a smart contract. That smart contract is a piece of code stored on the blockchain that manages the whole token transfer, buy, selling, etc., etc. So. The, the owner, the, the person who will launch this smart contract is actually free to write down this contract as he wants. So what will happen nowadays, uh, we have a huge market about all those uh, virtual cryptocurrency tokens. So we will uh, have more and more malicious smart contracts. So the here actually we have some fraudulent schema that we try to detect. So we can have what we call the rook pool, which are kind of backdoor behind, within the code that allow somebody to actually uh, stall the token that have been bind. We have what is called trapdoor or honeypot, which makes the token actually buyable but impossible to sell. And we have the only owner privilege, which allow the owner of the smart contract, so the entity who deploy it, to reserve some action for him only. So here, the goal is really to do something algorithmic. So we are not making code analysis. Here, we take, at some time point, a snapshot of the existing blockchain. This blockchain is deployed on a, a node that we own, that we isolate from the network, and we really study the behavior of the smart contract itself. So I will just uh, now show you what it looks like. Okay. So this is actually the interface. So the goal is only to go on the real network, select one token where you can uh, find easily is the address of the smart contract which is managing the token. You just have to paste this address here and click analysis, which I will not do now because it's taking too much time. It's a bit slow. The network is uh, reachable through VPN. It's too, too slow. And you can see that now for this example, we read this at 35 by 100 as a, a risk assessment. So here, for example, we study... Uh, the cost to buy, the cost to sell, the, what's the amount, and here we check that, for example, the owner still have a lot of liquidity itself, so he can manage the price somehow. He, there is a whitelist, blacklist built in in this kind of smart contract, so you can define who is allowed to buy, who is allowed to sell, and we rate, so based on the risk that the investor is uh, able to take or not to take, we do, we try to do a kind of evaluation of this risk. So now future work. So this is, we already try a lot of them. We uh, do a lot of testing on that. And so the future work will be to add new fraudulent schema, add more token standard. For the moment, we are on Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, working mainly on ERC20 tokens. And after that, we will try to add the machine learning layer in order to be able to automize this kind of process and to make it more generic. So if you have any question, I'm here until five within the Vianden room for the workshop. So feel free to ask me anything or to reach me via this. Thank you.